68 dance cards punched on Sunday, but several more bubbles go pop. Middle Tennessee dominated Conference USA this year, has a top 35 RPI and faced one of the toughest non-conference schedules in the country, but only got three quadrant one wins against high level competition. Lost its final two games of the season. And that would do in the Blue Raiders, who were left out of the bracket. Arizona State and Syracuse, the last two teams in to the first four in Dayton, slotted as 11 seeds in the Midwest. Duke, Michigan State, and Oklahoma superstar Trey Young highlight the bottom of this bracket, while top seed Kansas and Auburn headline the top half. And worse yet, Middle wasn't even one of the first four teams out. The selection committee says that was Baylor, Notre Dame, St. Mary's, and USC all have gripes, but especially Middle and St. Mary's, who predictably got no love as elite mid-majors. We are joined now by Middle Tennessee basketball coach Kermit Davis. Coach, we appreciate you taking the time on what is a very difficult night down there in the borough. You knew this was a possibility after the loss to Southern Miss in the conference tournament, but how disappointing is the reality that you are left out of the field of 68? Well, you know, our, our players were disappointed. I'm, I'm proud of our team. I just I thought they were such a, a good team, fun team to come to the gym with. And so we're disappointed. There, there's a lot of questions for, for schools at the mid-major level that how do you get quadrant one wins? How do you get a top 35 team in the country to come to your place? That's hard. And does RPI really matter anymore? Because at 33 RPI, we were the best RPI team left out of the field. Yeah, a great RPI. You win 24 games. You win Conference USA outright. You schedule the ninth toughest out of conference schedule in America. Yet you aren't even in the first four teams out, coach. What, is, what does a mid-major have to do to get an at-large bid? I don't know. I just had a great discussion with Chris Massaro, you know, and Chris, I said, Chris, what could we have done different? He said nothing. The only thing you could have done different is you have to have to win a lot of those games. The Diamond Head Classic in Hawaii, USC in Miami. And I don't know if, if you beat Marshall and if you beat Southern Miss and lose in the semis, are you in? I mean, Randy Pennant's team, who's a great friend of mine at St. Mary's, 28 and 5, doesn't get in. But what gets me is the teams that have losing records in their league that get into the tournament. I just think, I just think the tournament needs schools like Middle Tennessee, like St. Mary's, and wouldn't it have been a cool first four matchup for have Middle Tennessee to play a Power Five conference? So it just seems like it's getting more and more the other way. This team had such high expectations. It's known success in the big dance. You know you're going to the NIT. What's the challenge of regrouping your guys in the next couple of days and getting them ready to play? Yeah, you know, after, after the Southern Miss loss, Steve, we set our team down. We, we watched the Southern Miss game that morning. We went and practiced in Frisco before we left. We knew we had basketball ahead of us. And, and I tried to prepare them. Hey guys, this is it's going to be a long shot. But we, I tell you one thing, we want to go out the right way. I want Giddy Potts and Ed Simpson, the seniors, to go out the right way. It's something our school has never gotten to do: is play in Madison Square Garden in the NIT Finals. We got a lot of work ahead of us, but that's kind of a goal. Kermit, I'm going to keep banging the drum for you guys because I believe you should have been in. Go prove some people wrong in the NIT, okay? I hope you're right, Steve. Thank you, man. And they will get that chance. As Blue Raiders meet another dominant mid-major in the NIT. America East regular season champ Vermont also knocked out of their conference tournament early. That's the first round matchup Tuesday night at 8 o'clock. If middle wins, likely gets Louisville in round two.